for the benefit of Egyptian development and taking advantage of the experience had with the Naga Hamedi Barrage, this Egyptian and French joint venture is tendering for the new Assut Barrage Lot 1. This consortium is comprised of Vinci Construction Grand Projet, the Arab contractors and Oriscom. This animation video presents the main construction phases of the project. In order to avoid the erosion of the sandy riverbed, works begin with dredging and rock protection of the riverbed. Dredging and riverbed protection are located mainly on the left side of the Nile River. A coffer dam is constructed on the right part of the Nile River in order to carry out the main concrete work in dry conditions. In order to respect the natural repartition of the Nile River flow, a connection canal is excavated on Bani Mur Island before the completion of the temporary coffer dam. A slurry wall is constructed all around the pit to limit underwater seepage. Once the coffer dam and the slurry wall are completed, dewatering of the pit can start. At the first stage of excavation work, the permanent cutoff wall and the diaphragm walls are constructed. Concreting begins with the four abutment piers, while earthworks are in progress on the sluiceways and powerhouse area. Once the powerhouse pit is excavated, concreting can begin, starting with the base slab and the intermediate pier. Work phases are organized in such a way as to prioritize the installation of the turbine. This is followed by encasement of the turbine and downstream concreting. The concreting of the sluiceways and navigation locks are carried out simultaneously. Once the navigation locks are completed, a temporary coffer dam connects the main coffer dam to the existing barrage. Then, board pile walls link the navigation locks to the old barrage, and demolition work can now start. Once permanent riverbed protection inside the coffer dam is completed, the whole barrage is flooded to allow coffer dam dismantling and navigation locks commissioning. When the sluiceways and powerhouse are in operation, backfilling of the closure dam is executed and the Bani Mur Island Diversion Canal can be finally closed. 